Contract talks continue between the city and its transit workers as the threat of Toronto's first TTC strike since 2008 looms large. Municipal Affairs reporter Sean Jeffers is following this for us. And Sean, what are you hearing about the talks? Because commuters are worried. Well, Dwight, as you can hear, the bell tolls. I mean, we've got a countdown now on until the strike deadline tomorrow night at midnight. We understand it is status quo for these talks, which is not good news. If you're a commuter, you've got the ATU saying that not enough progress has been made at the table. The city's still optimistic that a deal can be done. The TTC saying, you know, we are talking. Here's Marvin, Al Marvin, Marvin Alfred, though, the ATU president, about the status of those talks and his disappointment. We are far apart from a deal. We are going on strike on Friday. We do not have enough security and um, any sort of assurances in order to avert a strike. Right now, Local Woman 3 will be striking on Friday. So Dwight, you can hear right there uh, some very blunt messaging coming from uh, President Alfred there about the status of those talks. Now, as I said, they are still talking. The city is still optimistic that it can get a deal with uh, the workers. But if it doesn't, that could be a problem come Friday. All right, Sean, let's talk about the big issues. What exactly is at play here? You know, we don't know a lot about the very specific bargaining issues that uh, are holding up these negotiations. We do know, Dwight, that uh, wages, benefits, job security generally are the sticking points and that they are still being discussed at the table. Now, on the city side of the coin, there are some serious financial constraints here. The TTC spokesman Stuart Green has said that they are looking for a fair and affordable deal. Now, this comes in the context more broadly of annual bill Billion dollar deficits the city is constantly uh, trying to address and all departments including the TTC are being asked to constrain costs so you can imagine these two things are, are coming at a conflict at the bargaining table and what happens if there is a strike Sean well, Dwight, uh, it'll be a, a major disruption because all service will have to stop. The union, the ATU, represents 12,000, nearly 12,000 workers. Now, these are people who operate and maintain, safely maintain the TTC system. And the TTC says without them, they simply can't operate their service. Now, one exception there is wheel transit service. We understand that uh, uh, folks who use that will still be able to access it to get to important medical appointments. But for the regular TTC, system, it will be shut down if there is a labor disruption. So that will cause a lot of problems. Now, we spoke with uh, TTC riders just in terms of, you know, asking them what they know about this situation. Let's hear from them now. Is it? Oh, yeah, I think I heard about this. So what would be your plan to get around? <sighs> Thankfully, I usually commute in Mississauga. Oh, my God, I've actually not thought this far ahead. I have no idea what I'll do. How far is your work? Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, I actually don't know how I'm going to get around. What do I do? I'm going to have to find a bicycle. Oh my God. That's great. Thank you for telling me. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I suppose that uh, I will walk to work. <laughs> I don't know how, but it will be like one hour, maybe, but I don't have any other plan. So what you can hear there, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of people trying to figure out plan B's for what they might potentially do on Friday. And I think clearly there are still a lot of people who didn't even know, they weren't even aware that these discussions were going on, that there was this potential strike. I mean, it's it, it would be, if it, it, if it happens, the first labor disruption uh, on the TTC or with the TTC since 2008. So people clearly are accustomed to the uh, union not having the ability to strike. Now, you'll recall Dwight, that the uh, a court decision which deemed the TTC an essential service was overturned recently, giving the union the right to strike and obviously returning the specter of a labor dispute and a strike being a possibility here. Now, we'll have to keep a very close eye on these negotiations over the next day leading up to this deadline, but it's really clear that they could come down to the wire. Yeah, some of us remember those days before 08 and the commuting chaos these strikes caused. Municipal Affairs reporter Sean Jeffords reporting from City Hall. Thank you, Sean.